ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द क्लास दिस इज अवर डे वन क्लास फॉर एयरक्राफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर एंड क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी अमेजिंग एक्चुअली आई शुड स्टार्ट इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट एंड देन न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी एंड देन आई शुड गो फॉर एयरक्राफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर बट बिकॉज दिस इज डे वन सो आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट एयरक्राफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर अलोन फ्रेशली एंड आई नीड सफिशियंट टाइम लाइक टू आवर्स प्लस टू टेक टू डेज लेक्चर फॉर एयरक्राफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर and actually our official timing is 8:30 to 11 but from last few classes uh, we are not continuing our class till 11 because our topic is being sorted out before 11 so that's why i am not extending the class till 11 but i today because it is day one class so i need sufficient time so because, so you guys should not be habitual that our class is not running till 11 no guys our official timing is till 11 right so now let's start the class and uh, aircraft structure some of you uh, like uh, you have forgot everything about what was there in aircraft structure so uh, the very first thing i should say about this aircraft structure uh, actually see what should i say what happens uh, suppose uh, when you uh, suppose there is a ma marriage function suppose uh, there are like boys uh, boys people are here and girls uh, those people are here so suppose this is the guy and uh, we have groom and bride right so here we have our bride and here we have our groom so when these people are seeing the groom what they see first in the groom like can someone help me what they see first in the groom the girl side what they see first time in the groom and from boy side what they see first in in the in the bride if i am not wrong i may i may be wrong if i am not wrong then first thing they say what this guy is doing <laughs> what is the salary right i mean a job profile and mostly uh, from boy side they see how the girl look so i may be wrong but on average uh, actually i don't know uh, enough culture in south india but mostly north india at least this is the uh, this is the way they see work profile boy side and they see how the girl is looking uh, and it, it, actually in north india mostly on average families they see <coughs> they don't see uh, how much girl is uh, like that is the second question girl is having job or not that is the second question right in same way uh, how how the guy is looking 6 uh, feet tall 5 feet tall that is secondary guy is having government job or not that is the primary thing <laughs> okay so when we study for aircraft structure so in aircraft structure what should be your first question as a serious gate aspirant what should be your first question so uh, guys you ask your first question so that i can collect some enough data like what is your popular question so i will ask one by one so i collected all the questions from you guys so uh, i will reply these questions like what is aircraft structure uh, for university level and what is aircraft structure for gate purpose like gate point of view they both are not same they are different actually now next uh, how big syllabus is now what is the toughness level like how tough this subject will be as compared to other subjects and individually as well and what is the weightage in gate exam so these things i will discuss here so see here <coughs> aircraft structure is actually one of the toughest subject of aircraft uh, aviation engineering okay one of the toughest subject so if i count uh, how many toughest subjects are there so propulsion and structure these two subjects are uh, like well known subjects in our uh, our department aeronautical or aerospace department so you will consider aircraft structure as a tough subject so what should be the toughness level so like peak level peak level means uh, i am not talking about one question i am talking about this subject entire subject it's like uh, for example if i target flight mechanics there is subject called flight mechanics so in flight mechanics if i'll give you 10 questions so uh, i'm talking about the gate exam level okay so 10 questions if i'm giving you you will say sir 6 to 7 questions will be easy 3 uh, to 4 questions uh, will be tough or maybe if you are uh, somewhat good student then you will say sir 7 uh, to 8 questions were easy and uh, uh, one or two questions were tough but if you in in this contrast uh flight mechanics contrast if you talk about aircraft structure then you will say sir actually aircraft structure was a tough paper every year uh, so you will find this uh, in what sense it is tough 
so uh, you will say sir uh, one to two questions were easy and like seven to eight questions were tough so uh, first i'll go with the gate weightage like how many marks will be there so guys see uh, from last two two years our uh, like uh, uh, like questions are not distributed evenly for all the subjects but still if you check the average from 2007 only we have gate aerospace right so from 2007 onwards for few years you cannot judge the paper after a few years paper was very unstable and from last two years paper was really like very different so if you go for the weightage you can say roughly 16 to 18 marks will be there 16 to 18 marks for sure if there is any huge change like this year they did not ask any big question from uh, stability portion i'm not talking about aircraft st stability from flight mechanics there is one more portion in flight mechanics that called stability so this year there was no question sometimes you see what happens in upsc exams like you pre you are preparing for geography very well and there is no question from geography but uh, paper was loaded with uh, your current affairs so right now our uh, gate aerospace level is not that serious but we can't expect so no one can say what the future is going to be but whatever has happened based on that if we have to judge the paper then 16 to 18 marks weightage and if you talk about 16 to 18 marks then how much approachable so easily you can tackle 8 to 10 marks very easy question 8 to 10 marks very easy now remaining 8 to 10 marks are tough now when i say easy what kind of easy so in this easy problem you will be having like suppose i am teaching you any concept about stress okay so concept wise logical questions will be there i mean to say theoretical questions where you have to be really very good so uh, two to three marks you will uh, uh, you will approach from these kind of concepts i am talking about the entire question paper two to three marks will be like logical questions after that uh, like three marks if i am removing so i can say uh, roughly eight marks sorry uh, five to some five to seven marks remaining in this five to seven marks easy questions will be there easy questions means from strength of material okay from strength of material you can solve the numerical easily okay now uh, in which part you have to be very good in strength of material i will give you chart here don't worry there is something called torsion there is something called bending these two portions you should be having very good grip very good grip because from here question will come but uh, the the actually language of the question you have to uh, uh, frame in your way see the way you learn the concept that is different the way a question will come in front of you that will be different your job will be read the question and try to link uh, concept with this question okay any question whatever you will solve in gate exam from 2007 onward any question will not be out of concept everything will be from your syllabus but wording of the question and 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 few things it depends on your iq level it depends on how different types of questions you have practiced okay so toughness level means yes this subject is tough subject okay why should i say this subject is tough subject because in this subject you have so much to cover so much to cover so how how long it will it take to cover it will take two months two months continuously aircraft structure will run in my coaching center okay two months means we are starting uh, may first week uh, actually not not may first week it is 9th may so you can expect uh, may full then june full august sorry may june july july month first week uh, this length will go okay so if i talk about uh, weightage weightage is clear uh, 16 to 18 marks you can expect and one more thing it depends on iit okay they may ask till 20 marks also okay now toughness level uh, always like half questions will be approachable half questions will be tough now approachable questions i told you like strength of material you have to make gr good grip very good grip then only you can solve eight eight marks question and if your strength of material is not good then you will lose these eight marks also and you will lose tough questions also you're going to lose now in this tough portion where where is your tough portion now see in this sometimes they ask material questions from material but very rare like to uh, uh, like wing design what type of material tail design what type of material fuselage design what kind of material okay aviation material so that is not a big deal it is your static knowledge okay so to cover this static knowledge i will guide you during the class which pdf you have to memorize there is no concept okay there is only static knowledge now next this is why i am saying this stuff because you have to cover lot of things you have to read lot of things 
because it is uh, suppose you are preparing something and uh, you are uh, memorizing that uh, okay what is the material for the turbine blade and they are asking question what is the material of the wing okay you are memorizing uh, uh, that okay uh, uh, wing, wing distribution uh, wing stress distribution is like this but you are not memorizing uh, fuselage distribution i mean to say we have a pit syllabus i am saying pit syllabus you cannot compromise there okay so that portion you have to mug up okay how to mug up how much to mug up those things i will discuss in in live class okay that thing you will follow now where your portion is going to be tough in aircraft structure we have different type of questions mostly uh, when question mix with torsion and shear flow students uh, will take so much time in what sense i am saying tough question tough question uh, in in that way which question is dangerous that is tough question what kind of question is dangerous you know the question you have judge very well that okay this question belong to this particular topic and you know that which formula you have to apply but you don't know how to approach the numerical in that way you will be in dilemma you will not be able to leave the question and you will not be able to attend the question properly and this trap will consume 5 minutes in your live exam okay 5 minutes over so that's why even though after 5 minutes if you are getting the logic okay i know how to solve the numerical but after 5 minutes if you got the logic it means you have wasted so what kind of student will put themselves in this kind of trap whoever is not good in basics because if you are good in basics of strength of material then from here itself you will collect 8 to 10 marks and after that that's all no need to touch aircraft structure but if you want to score complete 18 to 20 marks or you say 16 to 18 marks completely it is really a tough job so what is the smartness here smartness is uh, strength of material is easy part so that part you cover very well 8 to 10 marks will come now why what what kind of strategy i am telling you from my side i will teach you everything from my side i will give you practice for everything test series is ready for everything but what i am trying to say in gate exam you should have some different tactics that tactics is <clears throat> you need to work for 60 plus marks 60 plus marks means roughly 40 marks you don't have to touch if you don't touch 40 marks in gate exam then you save almost time because 3 hours time is given for 65 questions 65 questions means 100 marks i am saying entire 65 questions you don't have to solve then how much you have to solve you have to solve 40 plus correct 40 plus correct means you can get iisc any type of iit for your aerospace department now in this 40 plus questions how many questions you should solve from eg subject and how many questions you should solve from tough subject so question is very easy i mean logic is very easy easy subject you have to cover completely tough subject you have to play smart game again i am repeating from my side i will not leave anything i am saying students strategy in your gate exam hall okay sometimes even though if you know the numerical you should not solve the numerical if numerical is time consuming numerical because see they know that you will do this mistake you have to be smart engineer okay okay now next next one thing here in our aircraft structure because the portion is lengthy it will take two months complete like a propulsion we have taken two months in propulsion and not only this uh, weightage is also very good so if you are doing 16 to 18 marks if you are doing roughly uh, 14 to uh, okay suppose if you are uh, solving 14 marks correctly you will be in top 10 guys you will be in top 10 if aircraft structure you are solving 14 marks correctly 14 marks you do from here 14 marks you do from propulsion okay you got 28 marks you need to collect how much more to make it 60 see here 28 you are getting from these two subjects see advantage of aircraft structure that if you are completing aircraft structure 100% it means technically you should solve all 18 to 16 marks 18 to 16 marks is a big game okay then flight mechanics aerodynamics rocket propulsion they are easy subject engineering mathematics numerical ability from here also you are going to collect data correct i mean collect correct marks okay no need to go into this detail anymore now let's start with the syllabus distribution of aircraft structure so in aircraft structure i will start with strength of material after strength of material i will go for aircraft structure in aircraft structure like wing separate fuselage separate like our uh, uh, components separately they, they are like why this kind of shape is given what kind of structure was not possible what kind why this structure is only possible like these kind of logical things we discuss here and then 
I'll be discussing vibration, mechanical vibration. In this mechanical vibration, right now I will not go into detail. See here, in strength of material, majorly what are the points you have to cover? See here, very large section of strength of material is elasticity. In elasticity, we have lot of things to cover. For example, we have to cover stress, all types of stress. Then we have to cover strain, all types of strain. Then we have to cover Hooke's law and based examples, correct? These are the major portions in elasticity. In elasticity, when you are preparing stress and strain, then first of all, you have to understand the basic idea about stress and basic numericals. Basic idea of strain and then basic numericals. Then some important stresses and strains known as principal stress, principal strains, those things. Okay, and then we have to discuss Mohar circle. Mohar circle is very, very important. If someone knows Mohar circle very well, then this chapter is done. Elasticity chapter is done. So where should be your focus when you are dealing with this chapter? Your focus should be on the basics of stress strain and after that Mohar circle. Okay, so like in class, I will teach you everything, everything. Don't worry about that. I am saying that how will you filter your pages? How will you jump from one topic to another topic? Even though I am teaching you 100%, but you should be having capability to filter. Okay. Now one more thing. When I am teaching the topic, if you are feeling that this topic you could not understand in live class, then you again come back. I mean, you give me WhatsApp message, you call or something, something. Somehow you try to clear this topic. Okay, any topic, if you are not understanding very well, it is your responsibility that you contact me back and you clear that topic. I am available. I am ready. Okay. So in strength of material, when elasticity portion is covered, so elasticity alone will cover the basics of entire aircraft structure. Because if a person knows very well about stress and strain, then entire aircraft structure is based on stress strain only entire aircraft structure okay whatever portion you discuss in every portion finally you will land that how much stress will develop so that structure will fail how much is how much strain is like uh, permissible strain like these kind of questions will be the last question of any chapter whether you discuss bending or torsion last finally where are we reaching L our structure will fail or not and we are very cautious about our uh, airship airspace structures it is not like a, a ground running mode okay now next uh, i am not going to discuss all the chapters because it will consume our time if you are interested then just visit our drive course there you go to uh, last year uh, handwritten notes there you just go through the index like what are the topics we have to cover in this aircraft structure because it is time consuming to discuss here and like no mood uh, like full all mood will go and will consume a lot of time so it's better to start our main course so our main course is our chapter one that is your elasticity now when i talk about elasticity then before elasticity i should cover some basic basic points like because it is aircraft structure so in aircraft structure when you target elasticity then your first topic is what is stress so if i want to explain what is stress then because during the uh, during the explanation of stress i'll be using words like torque moment force so you should know what is torque what is moment what is force so this is your loophole this is your weakness like you are weak here torque moment force difference between torque and moment how will you feel what is difference between torque and moment so first we will cover these loopholes okay first we'll understand from the very basic so see here very within one minute i will go through the basic see guys there is something called displacement okay now in aircraft structure how will you feel the displacement for example if you have i section beam okay now in this i section beam all the molecules are sitting at their places okay now i'm i'm saying a word called load there is something called load guys what is load any force any pressure any moment any torque or you say any external factor which will change or try to change the structure of this member i am using a word called member member means in aircraft structure we have uh, 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 like structural members like we say beam column those things i will i will come to those points right now i'm using a technical word member so if this member is given now any kind of loading force moment torque pressure anything 
anything is acting on this then what will happen that like these effects will try to change the shape they will try or they will change for sure so what will happen we will be experiencing displacement among the molecules right now whatever displacement is available without these forces this displacement will change when you apply the loading condition i'm using a word loading condition we have several types of loading condition when i will explain explain the explain the load that time i'll explain that loading condition okay now whenever we are talking about displacement so in ninth class what displacement you are discussing that displacement you are not going to discuss here that the shortest path between two points is called displacement no 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 that kind of displacement we are not going to discuss here my point is these molecules will shift the entire shape will change so this entire shape will change in 3d so displacement here what we are going to achieve i'll be giving you u v and w these will be three components in x y z direction for the displacement okay now see whenever there is displacement there will be direction okay if there is direction and displacement both then there will be velocity okay if there is velocity and of course direction is changing so velocity is changing if there is velocity change then there will be acceleration if there is acceleration then there will be force so finally our topic is landing to the force now see understand what is called force so see force is having two technical explanation rate of change of momentum is called force f is equal to m is called force rate of change of momentum f is equal to dp by dt this equation itself if you do something you can land to f is equal to m equation so see here force i am not going to discuss in detail here because force is very basic unit is newton now this force this force is respon this force is responsible to give you moment and torque so let's understand what is difference between moment and torque now see here what is difference between moment and torque suppose you have a door here door and here you have a handle and at this point at this point door is hinge like here and here door is hinge so suppose you are applying a force like this this force is f so because of this application this door will turn like this so with respect to this point and this with respect to this point this entire body of door will turn okay okay now force is coming into picture and door is turning so displacement is coming into picture every point is being displacement and displaced those things are not my discussion here i am trying to give you physical feel uh, difference between moment and torque okay now see here yes yes matter now see here force whatever i am uh, applying here this force right now will give you a uh, moment i mean change change in the location of the body it is like this okay now you see right now whatever force you are seeing this force is turning the object so object is coming here okay so where this force is acting this force is acting at this point so with respect to this point what is the distance so here you are having perpendicular angle displacement is in this uh, this plane and force is in this plane they both are perpendicular so this this uh, this, this radius whatever you are seeing here this radius and this force if you multiply together you will be get, getting moment okay so when you apply moment what happens something will turn but in torque also when you apply force things will turn but sense will be different in case of moment you need single force and this kind of distance but in case of torque mehta is is that is that is that somewhat okay now you are comfortable now this speed is fine okay now see let's go for torque torque is also very similar to moment but there is big difference in case of torque we need two forces we need couple those two forces are couple and whenever you say couple then equal and opposite forces you can say couple now how see here here you are applying the moment now let's understand you have a bottle and you have cork like here you have cork cork this this thing now uh suppose you are using your finger to open this so you are using your hand so so two fingers you will use one finger you will apply this side back side and one finger you will apply here imagine this is your hand like this now one force you are applying in this direction one force applying in this direction so with respect to center this object will rotate like this 
okay so you will be having one distance here and one distance here now if you see from the top then i will draw another diagram so this is the disc here you are applying one force here applying one force seeing from the top so this is one gap and this is one gap so now they are equal and opposite opposite forces so you will be having another thing torque torque is equal to now see when you are calculating torque then again any one force you can use i am saying any one force this is also f this is also f they are equal and opposite and suppose this is r this is r so torque you are calculating so you can calculate r into f r into f this angle is 90 degree okay so i am not writing the vector format of torque i am writing a scalar format of torque r into f okay anyway uh, this displacement and this vector they both are sorry this force they both are vector quantity i am not putting cross sign here i am putting simple multiplication you understand simple multiplication if you open this the real formula is rf sin theta but theta is 90 so this sign i am not using i am using only rf okay see what is difference between torque and moment now you understood right what is the difference main difference is torque means something will uh, will be having couple couple means two forces two forces will be there okay now uh, moment is not like that uh, in aircraft structure where we having uh, forces like this force like uh, where are we going to discuss torque and where are we going to discuss moment let's understand that part so see here uh, there is a chapter very strong chapter very big chapter called bending and there is very big chapter called torsion actually in case of bending what happens you will be having a wall and with the wall any beam suppose i section beam will be attached i section beam will be attached so you are going to apply uh, any load so what will happen this beam will bend like this so your structure will come down like this your i section will come like this okay so what will happen at every section your point will come down this point came here this point came here this point came here this point came here okay so what is happening in bending in bending you are using moment m o m e n t one more thing guys don't be confused with moment and momentum momentum is very different mass into velocity here i am saying force into displacement okay moment is force into displacement and now there is something called torsion okay in torsion what is happening we are using torque how are we using torque see now you have a wall now in this wall you have same i section also you can use or any other section also you can use but torsion what we have to discuss for aircraft structure that is limited for circular section so i am using a circular bar here okay but again i am saying we are limited for this in real life torque you can apply for any type of section when i say section section you understand right cross section i am talking i section c section e section for any type of section we can discuss torque but right now i am choosing circular part so actually we apply this kind of symbol like this and we put here t and we say this is torque but reality is how are you creating torque so see here uh, understand again what i am trying to say whoever is not understanding don't feel shy if you are not understanding anything in live class immediately ask okay otherwise remaining lectures will be based on the previous topic so it will be difficult for you so don't hesitate ask immediately see uh, what i am trying to explain i am trying to explain uh, if you have a rod and this rod you are applying force one force like this and one force like this so this force will give you a uh, rotation correct so this object will experience this kind of torque but if you attach something here so this guy will also rotate correct but this rotation is not coming because of this force into gap this rotation is coming because already one shaft was being rotated right so this black color body here is experiencing torque because of this force into gap concept but this red color body is experiencing torque because the entire shaft before shaft was already uh, rotating okay nothing big i i mean to say that sometimes they may give question direct torque sometimes they may give forces applied okay so that was the physical feel now see understand uh one more logic this logic is imagine 
you have a rod here you have another rod here two different examples i want to realize something so this is the center exact center you apply one force here f then what will happen this entire body will go front in this direction okay now uh, in the contrast of this concept you change the location of this force then what will happen then body will not go ahead body will rotate so this is the beauty of torque or you say moment right now not torque right now it is moment so see when you are applying force then object is turning okay object is turning and one more thing you must consider we have friction otherwise this object will not revolve anyway next point what is difference between this and this same amount of force same direction but still something is changed which is not giving same effect so right now see in 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 the application if you talk about application i have used same force in same direction so force wise my system is mechanically balanced but if you see physically i am not getting the same phenomena here object is going in this direction here object is turning so is it mechanically balanced no these diagrams are not mechanically balanced okay why because i am not applying force here i am applying force at some location it means what two things matters a lot one is amount of force and then point of application where you are applying the force because if you will not apply the force uh, where is where it is required then it will give you different effect based on this concept we have a very great topic that is known as shear center when i will come to uh, like after few days of the aircraft structure lecture you will understand there is something called uh, shear center okay this is very interesting portion aircraft structure is really very interesting portion the way you have enjoyed aircraft propulsion in same way you will enjoy aircraft structure and you will learn a lot my promise okay so <clears throat> if you up, so see now you have understood how to calculate force how to calculate moment and how to calculate torque okay basic basic part is done so if you know how to find out moment we will uh, if you know how to find out force you should know one more thing there is very popular theorem that is known as lamy's theorem what is lamy's theorem i am jumping to this point because a uh, lot of things like if if we step by step step by step i'll go uh, we will not be able to finish the entire physics uh, like completely already we have a separate class that is bridge course program correct in bridge course everything everything all the basics i am already taking okay so whatever is required for gate aerospace aircraft structure uh, so that uh, that much basic at least at least you should know only that much basic i am taking here okay so, so that and if you are really very very weak in basic bridge courses there don't worry okay now see guys there is something called lamy's theorem what is that theorem in this theorem three this theorem is actually working only for three three forces so three forces are working either inside or outside or outward like this okay actually uh, for lamy's theorem i will draw this diagram to explain the theorem what this theorem is you have the forces acting suppose this force is f1 this force is f2 this force is f3 based on this uh, uh, concept we'll solve one numerical also in live class and suppose uh, here angle is alpha here angle is beta and here angle is gamma so lamy's theorem says if this system is not moving anywhere what i'm saying if the system is not moving anywhere in technical words if the system is in mechanical equilibrium what is the meaning of mechanical equilibrium i am using a name mechanical equilibrium everyone you guys have done aircraft propulsion course in aircraft propulsion course when i was teaching there is some th uh, something called when i was teaching equilibrium in thermodynamics thermodynamic equilibrium there was a topic in that i taught you four types of equilibrium in that one was mechanical equilibrium that time i taught you if force is equal to zero and moment is equal to zero on any system it means total force is zero and total moment is zero then only we say system is in mechanical equilibrium force alone is zero that will not uh, make system in mechanical equilibrium why see the very good example suppose you have this kind of object here you are applying force f is equal to 10 newton here you are applying force f is equal to 10 newton okay so total force on the object is zero why because forces are equal and opposite so if you do algebraic sum total force will be zero right but if you talk about uh, any other physical phenomena is happening if this if this object is in rest no ob object will not be in rest why 
because this guy will take this object in this direction so rotation will start here it means what there is uh, no translation motion but there is rotation motion it means there is no mechanical equilibrium so that's why whenever you will listen someone is teaching mechanical equilibrium those people will say resultant force should be zero and resultant moment should also be zero then only system will be in mechanical equilibrium so in lamy's theorem we have condition forces should act like this and system should be should not go anywhere or should not rotate or should not translate okay then uh, or directly don't don't want to say those many words then you simply say system is in mechanical equilibrium then you can write the theorem theorem is having this look f1 by sin alpha is equal to f2 by sin beta is equal to f3 by sin gamma very simple okay now based on this we can solve one very good numerical let's solve this numerical okay you have this you have this and here you have a rope like this here you have a rope like this suppose here you have tension t1 is equal to 50 newton and uh, here you have an object this object is having mass m is equal to 2 kg so if you take g value as 10 meter per second square then its weight downward will be w is equal to 2 into 10 it means mg this is 20 newton always remember weight is a force okay it it is having unit newton so this w is equal to 2 into 10 20 newton this 20 newton is acting downward i can ask what will be the tension in this if i am giving you enough data i am asking tension in this and i am giving you enough data enough data means this angle i am giving you this angle i am giving i am giving you and this angle i am giving you suppose this angle i am giving as 80 degree this angle i am giving as uh, 120 degree so uh, because two angles are given so automatically third angle you can find out because total angle should be 360 and this tension you can find out using lamy's theorem so no need to solve the numerical only i am trying to say that how can we approach these type of numericals in lamy's theorem actually see when we are solving air when we are learning strength of material so these are the very basic tool everyone should know the physical feel of moment physical feel of torque physical feel of force and whatever diagrams i have explained after that we are directly jumping to uh, our first chapter that is known as elasticity okay now see guys whatever portion we have done based on these portions we have said some assignments those assignments are having video solutions so what you have to do you have to solve those assignments and after that you have to watch the video solution if you are able to solve the assignment very good if you are not able to solve the assignment those assignments are having video solution so for that i will just show you just a moment i will just show you i i will i will share my screen i am sharing my screen sharing screen uh guys please confirm screen is shared or not okay okay so now where you have to go after tonight's lecture uh, see here you can see drive application so already you have link for this right so open this drive application go to concept library so you will be having folder from concept library then go to your uh, gate aerospace fold uh, second one and then go to third one aircraft structure and there you have aircraft structure day one assignment pdf day two assignment day three assignment like this so, like suppose you are opening this thing this uh, assignment four so it will look like this so you are having these kind of questions like question one so you have this question in then you have question two then you have question three okay this diagram last year like these questions last year i created and uh, these diagrams are my copyright uh, these these diagrams and these questions are my own copyright questions okay they are for my own books so uh, these these questions i will uh, you have to solve so when you will solve these questions uh, if you will be having any doubt so these doubts i will i have already um, made solution video for them so whoever is solving them you guys uh, can go for solution video okay if you will be having any doubt so i will uh, give those solution video uh, link you can watch them uh okay so and uh, whatever is going on that you can find out here in the first uh, notes whatever is going on 
so see what i i am trying to open this pdf my speed is not very good let it open just a moment i'll show you from where is start where where is starting and where we have to go this last year note it's not being open let it let it be close no problem so like already you have links right so you go there and you watch the link and you can find out so after class you do this no, don't do now so let's start the class so guys now we are ready to start our uh, chapter called elasticity very very good chapter very good chapter you will love this so elasticity chapter is lengthy chapter it is not tough chapter but every single concept is important from this chapter because it is going to build up your entire aircraft structure concept so see now uh elasticity elasticity see here uh opposite of this is plasticity so if you understand the plastic you will understand elastic elasticity so what is elasticity why it is very popular what is the role of elasticity in aircraft structure for example uh if you have a very thin steel blade and any student is having one hand here and one hand here and this is uh, student is trying to bend so it is not that rigid so student is able to bend this so once so see step 1 the student is applying load load is being applied so when you are applying the load what is happening deformation is happening what is deformation change in shape and size or both either shape or size or both is known as deformation whenever you are deforming any object what are the things can happen see object may change its shape shape means if it is circular it may be elliptical if it is circular it may be elliptical size size means length can change area can change volume can change so whenever you are applying any load then deformation will occur so that's why this load is known as deformative force force which is uh, deforming the object and it is external so sometimes we say external load so in our uh, ug level pg level and whenever we don't we go, we don't call that force we call that as technical name load okay load can be of several types torque moment and force and blah blah things okay so apply the load so we say deformation force force of deformation whenever you are applying this load which is deforming the object then object will deform if your load is enough sufficient then object will deform okay when object will deform what will happen shape and size will change or both will change okay when shape and size is being changed then what you will do i mean what this student will do this student will remove this force of deformation when you are removing the force of deformation then there comes nature what is the nature of the material which was being deformed so nature of material was when you will remove the deformative force then this material will again come back to its original pose or you say its original position okay it was this much mm long it was this much centimeter thick and something whatever was the original situation this object will return back to its original shape, shape and size okay so this nature is known as elasticity okay in real life all the objects are not equally elastic elasticity is not based on uh, size or something elasticity is based on different different material for example gold and copper and iron they are not equally elastic okay who is more elastic who is less elastic that is not our discussion i mean to say what is elasticity so elasticity is the nature of any material by virtue of which when the deformative force is removed object will come into its original shape and size if the object is very good 100% elastic in nature then you can never deform any object i mean you definitely you can deform but when you will remove the deformative force it will come back to its original shape and size i hope you got the meaning of elasticity elasticity is not present in all types of material that's why some material is plastic for example plastic okay 
वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्लास्टिक वी गो टू मार्केट और नॉट दैट पार्ट वी गो टू हाँ येस वी गो टू मार्केट वी परचेज सम स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स लाइक स्टेशनरी थिंग्स एंड और वेजिटेबल्स और समथिंग वी गेट व्हाइट कलर ब्लैक कलर प्लास्टिक सेट प्लास्टिक बैग्स सो सपोज सी हाउ कंफर्टेबल दैट बैग इज सपोज दिस इज योर प्लास्टिक बैग ओके दिस इज योर प्लास्टिक बैग इन दिस प्लास्टिक बैग हियर वी आर कीपिंग अवर थिंग्स सो यू यू बेंड प्लास्टिक बैग लाइक दिस यू बेंड प्लास्टिक बैग लाइक दिस इमेजिन दिस द स्टील बैग कैन बी बेंड दिस नो you can bend things uh, in steel you can bend if and only if you are keep on applying the force you can keep on applying the load external load if you remove it will come back okay so steel is elastic aluminum is elastic or not so means there is something called elasticity which plays very very important role so see when you are working as a professional in uh, any kind of sector where we are discussing i mean where we are uh, having uh, industrial manufacturing that time you don't have to use the concept of elasticity that time everything is loaded in your computer you only have to run some machines and machine will do all the work you don't even uh, have to know things in deep so there was one student she was asking like how deep we will go so you see how deep we are going i will take you to every molecular level from where aircraft structure is being born okay i will take you there i mean the complete detail i will explain in the class okay so you are very comfortable what is elasticity so uh, and opposite of elasticity is plasticity again note every material is not equally elastic right because why every material is not equally elastic because everyone is not having same lattice structure what is lattice structure see guys uh actually every material is a matter matter is made up of uh, atomic arrangements i am using a word atomic arrangements or you say molecular arrangement molecules are made up of atoms so how molecules are arranged in any material that gives this nature Okay, I mean to say, suppose there is a cube. There is a cube like this. So here, uh, molecules are sitting. Okay, and imagine here also molecules are sitting. And suppose here also molecules are sitting. Here also molecules are sitting. Here also molecules. Okay. So this is the top face. This is the front face. This is the right face. Okay. Now. suppose you are deforming the object so i hope you understood what is the meaning of deformation means you are trying to change the shape or size okay so deform the object so see right now the diagram what you are seeing it is the natural diagram natural diagram means this is the diagram when our universe was being framed that time this particular object i have got till then like it is naturally made object so my i mean to say molecules are arranged like this by nature i did not arrange them now i am going to deform this object so what will happen their gap between them will disturb okay when their gap will disturb it means you are now playing with their natural position you are disturbing their natural position there is something called critical distance critical distance is a technical science word so if you will deform the object then critical distance will change so now see guys whenever you are uh, uh, deforming any object then critical distance is being changed and this critical distance is doing everything somewhere it depends on the application of the load somewhere critical distance may increase somewhere critical distance may decrease i mean to say somewhere molecules may go away from each other somewhere molecules may come closer so you are disturbing the critical distance by the application of load so when objects are going away then force of attraction will develop force of attraction so that they should come back and where they are coming closer their critical distance is decreasing that time force of repulsion will develop it means what molecular force can be of attraction also and can be of repulsion also how attraction how repulsion naturally we have got this because of their critical distance i hope it's been clear now this attraction or repulsion forces are the main mother father of stresses and strains okay so when you are deforming the object then you are changing the shape and size 
means you are creating a strain in the object see what i'm saying a strain not a stress a strain in the object when you are creating the strain in the object it means you are making the molecules to change their locations when in mo when molecules are changing the, the locations you are responsible for them i mean the load which is being applied that is responsible load can be of mainly three types either force or moment or torque so moment or torque is still somewhat okay but force can be again of few types so these forces we have to understand in detail according to that we have different types of stresses develop in the object so right now immediately i am not jumping to stress topic still few things are remaining to cover i will cover them okay so in elasticity there is something called stress there is something called strain so when you apply any kind of force moment or torque object will change its shape and size in both the cases either shape or size molecules will change its position then strain will develop successfully so strain symbols we give either epsilon or gamma i will tell you why two symbols then when shape and size will change then molecules will change their location no doubt when molecules will change their location then either attraction force or repulsion force will develop no doubt okay when attraction force or repulsion force will develop i am saying force will develop correct force will develop when force will develop then on which cross section area this force is acting okay that area if you will divide into the force then this is internal force which is being developed this is not the external force what you are applying this is the internal force which is being developed in the molecule and respective area if you divide then you get the stress so stress is kind of pressure actually stress and uh, and pressure they are totally different pressure and stress differences if you check out pressure is because of that force what you are applying as a external loading that divide by on which area you are applying so means you are applying that force by area gives you pressure unit is newton per meter square but stress is because of internal force which force attraction or repulsion which is being produced among the molecules now let's go into more deep suppose i'm drawing the diagram one more diagram okay guys first of all you let me know are you enjoying the class or not everything is going into head or not okay very good very good because it is my motivation if you say that things are going good ha okay one more thing if my uh, speaking is being fast don't hesitate let me know i will speak slowly because actually what happens right it is like ma uh, like everyone is having individual thing like when we explain something uh, our speed we pick our natural speed so see it's like uh, i i i am not reading any book i am explaining what is inside my head so that's why sometimes my speed can be slow or more so i will manage don't worry and please don't hesitate okay whenever you will say i will slow down uh, okay so okay thanks to mehta i was going very fast in the beginning he said sir uh, slow down so, so okay and i hope my english is like going good if i am doing any kind of grammatical mistakes sorry in the beginning itself okay sometimes i blabber some grammatical mistakes i do so please ignore that now see we'll start with this okay so imagine uh here molecule 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 all are sitting 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 this is my right side face here also molecules are sitting this is my top face this is my front face here also molecules are sitting i am applying force like this from both the sides uh location of force is on the right face and on the left face exactly at the center okay now same way same diagram is this diagram like this like this like this same diagram top face this right side face right side this front face 
molecules are sitting but this time i am applying this kind of force which is uh, uh, exactly on the right and this side also they both are different diagrams don't don't match them they are different diagrams and uh, exactly at the center same here molecules 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 you understood my logic front face top face and right face so now see uh, i am just sliding this uh, top surface sliding the top surface like right now the green color molecules whatever you are seeing here these green color molecules are the first layer below that also will be having some layer below that also will be having some layer below that also some layer below that also some layer okay and here also like uh, right side face so here just after that also one layer 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 here also same thing right layer 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 in in every in, in every layer you have molecules okay see the logic now uh they all are forces when i say loading under loading we have three popular things one is force one is moment one is torque so right now i have applied force so i am trying to show you there are three types of forces what i can apply one force which i can apply exactly perpendicular to the uh, to the face so exactly perpendicular to the face i have two types one is inside and one is outward one is inward one is outward so these two forces are known as compressible force and tensile force so this guy is tensile force outward forces are but outward and perpendicular also get my logic outward also and perpendicular also so this guy is compressive compressive means uh, all the molecules are being compressed so gap between molecules are decreasing here gap between molecules are increasing here decreasing here increasing correct so tensile forces okay now and here what is happening uh, see guys uh, you know what kind of force this is uh, when you have a book okay you have book some book is there pages are there how do we flip the page we apply this kind of lateral force that actually the name is shear force so this diagram is for shear force so this force which is exactly touching the surface and going outward guys not inside not outside no components inside outside exactly parallel and touching the surface means this force is trying to pull only top surface only top surface so that is called shear force so shear force lateral force also you can say but see idea is only the top surface the way we are flipping the page we are applying shear actually okay how do you open match box when you are opening match box only the match box like the portion in which we have match sticks that is coming out and we, when you are burning them when we, when you are hitting hitting the side face of the match box where all the masala and all is there so we are only burning we, we are applying shear force okay so that shear force or if you don't want to understand in this way you can do one more thing you just put one hook here hook hook okay so then you apply some force in this direction or you tie rope this rope you pull in this direction so that will also give you same effect okay so in this case what is happening in this case if it is a uh, it is a rectangle when you compress this it will again be a rectangle shape will not change guys there is difference between shape and size shape and size what is shape what is size size means your length breadth height i mean area or volume these are size parameters shape means rectangle triangle circle they are shape parameters so in the third diagram if you apply force like this right now whatever rectangle you are seeing at the front face this rectangle will convert into parallelogram like this correct so what is happening shape is being changed size is, is being changed or not no no size change size is not being changed why because you see in this case when you are uh, pulling the face outside that time still you are applying normal force but it is of tensile nature okay so this guy is you are applying direct force on the uh, on the molecule i mean you are applying direct force on the uh, surface area or you say on the front area you are applying again direct force on the front area here also you are applying direct force on the top area correct so whatever forces i have shown you here there are three types of forces so that force uh, is actually see force of compression 
फोर्स ऑफ टेंशन सी आई एम यूजिंग डिफरेंट इंग्लिश वर्ड्स बट इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बुक्स समटाइम्स इसे टेंसाइल फोर्स समटाइम्स इसे कंप्रेसिव फोर्स समटाइम्स इसे टेंस टेंसाइल लोड कंप्रेसिव लोड सो यू शुड नॉट बी कंफ्यूज ओके डिफरेंट लिटरेचर्स ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल दे आर यूजिंग डिफरेंट फैशनेबल वर्ड्स सो डोंट वरी फॉर दैट वेन एवर यू सी कंप्रेशन यू अंडरस्टूड द सेम लॉजिक यू अंडरस्टैंड द सेम लॉजिक वेन एवर यू सी टेंशन यू मीन्स द सेम लॉजिक ओके फोर्स इज सेम यू शुड नॉट बी कंफ्यूज इफ यू आर बींग कंफ्यूज जस्ट चेक द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स इट इज ऑलवेज न्यूटन ओके सो यू विल कम आउट ऑफ द ट्रैप now you compression is done tension is done and the next part is shear shear okay now see just now in previous diagram you see the diagram was like this and here i am applying the force so this force so what is the name of the force now by seeing the diagram you can see it is tensile tensile force or force of tension okay so this is tension force so tension force means uh, now see this f it is acting on this face it is acting on this face now just imagine so i am saying this force by this area which area this area this force by this area if you do you will be getting stress that stress will be tensile stress why because it is calculated from tensile force okay now question is a big question that you can say interview question why this area why not this area why not this area a big question big question okay why not some other area why because let me explain this beautifully i will try to explain uh the first phase the first phase at which force is being applied there we have some molecules sitting let me erase some this part okay some molecules are sitting here some molecules are sitting here okay just before this will be having another phase there also some molecules will be sitting okay so you got the logic when you are applying the force then all these molecules are trying to come out so back side whatever molecules are coming they will experience that their critical distance is increasing so they will try to pull these uh what to say molecules that hey friend don't go i can't i can't live without you some kind of romance will create there so because of that some force is being set up among the gap among the gaps you see here some force is being set up that force is being set up between which wall in which wall i am using a word w a w l wall this wall only correct so i hope you got the logic uh, when you apply the force these molecules will uh, leave their space they will go in this direction so these molecules the just previous we have some set of molecules right so they will try to pull them back so when they will try to pull them pull them back so this this force which is being developed between the molecules among the molecules in which plane it is happening this is happening in this plane only correct that's why i am choosing this area because inside force which is being developed that force is being developed on this area i hope it's very well clear so that's why i am choosing that area so these kind of explanations they can ask in your ms or phd interviews okay so be ready for these kind of concepts and now this is the only key point for entire aircraft structure wherever things will be uh, based on stress strain i will take you deep into ocean of aircraft structure strength of material and you will be enjoying the class actually see whatever amount of force you will apply equal to that same amount of force will develop inside okay so if you are applying suppose 10 newton force then exactly 10 newton force will develop inside and whatever area is there so suppose just an example if this area is 2 meter square so if you want to find out your normal stress okay so this normal stress is nothing but force is 10 newton and area is 2 meter square one more thing whatever i am teaching here it is a introduction class so anything is not arranged yet i will explain everything in detail one by one right now i am giving you all the background okay so don't worry like i am jumping or jumping or jumping no 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 i will take everything in detail step by step so this normal stress is 10 by 2 which is 5 meter sorry newton meter square okay newton meter square is also the unit of pressure so you can say 5 pascal also so pascal is also the stress unit si unit also okay pascal or newton meter square they both are si units okay one more thing when i say normal stress 
I am using 10 Newton force. So inside also we have 10 Newton force, outside also we have 10 Newton force. Which 10 Newton I am using? Correct. For example, for example, if uh, suppose uh, you are sitting with me and another person is also sitting with me, this is suppose you and this is you dash. You and you dash both are sitting and this is me. And you are also having 50 rupees, you are also having 50 rupees. Okay. Uh, this guy is eating suppose dosa and uh, this guy is also eating dosa no sorry 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 the another one is eating samosa okay so samosa is also uh, paying for 50 rupees and this guy is also paying 50 rupees so see for me i am getting 50 50 but this 50 is for samosa this 50 is for dosa so we have some physical sense here correct same thing i want to discuss outside also external force what we have applied in newton inside also 10 newton so which 10 newton i should keep here okay even though our answer is 10 no problem see if you will put outside 10 newton then this guy will become pressure you should not put outside 10 newton because it will become pressure but if you will yes dosa <laughs> hai. but if you will putting if you will be putting inside 10 newton then it will become stress because stress is internal phenomena stress is not external so external force is responsible to create deformation and after deformation molecular forces are being set up in the body those forces are creating stresses stress is internal phenomena so this 10 newton what we are using it is internal force i hope you are getting okay everyone so right now whatever diagram was there in this diagram you see this 10 by 2 in this 10 by 2 whatever is here 5 answer this is normal stress okay same force if i will put inside same force if i will put inside then again it will be normal stress only but normal stress is of two types one time gap is increasing one time gap is decreasing it means tensile force and compressive force it means normal stress can be of two types tensile stress and compressive stress so now we are into this position that we can categorize our stress i hope it's being clear so see basically we have five types of stresses now from here focus very careful because this question definitely they will ask in iisc or iit madras interview Pakka. if you will go for aircraft structure uh, master ms or phd directly definitely they will ask or if you are going for isro DRD interview definitely they will ask about stress okay so if you think what is stress so you you should know that it is internal phenomena okay internal force is responsible for the internal stress actually uh, see here you people say uh, sorry I, that is bad example come to stress alone stress before stress you should not say internal stress because stress is by default internal okay stress is by default internal okay so uh, but the loading is always external but if i say force then force can be external also and it can be that force which is being set up in the molecules so it can be internal also so external force if you use and divide by area particular area it is a specified area not any area in this cube no not cube sorry cuboid all the areas are not same imagine these areas are not same if you are applying here 10 newton force so this 10 newton force if you divide with the particular area this area designated area then only you will be getting pressure if you divide by this area no no it is wrong correct and i hope you understood the logic so stress is of five types in interview you have to say stress is of five types why five types first stress is because of tensile force so it is tensile stress second distress is because of compressive force so it is compressive stress i'm not writing full form third distress is not because of tensile or compressive both are known as normal stresses both are normal stresses guys keep in mind one is tensile is nature in nature one is compressive in nature 
ओके नाउ थर्ड टाइप इज वी से शीयर स्ट्रेस वाई बिकॉज इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ शीयर फोर्स सो इन वन मोर थिंग इन केस ऑफ शीयर स्ट्रेस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सी इफ यू अप्लाई लोड लाइक दिस दैट टाइम दिस एरिया यू शुड कीप इन माइंड टू डिवाइड सपोज दिस फोर्स इज टेन न्यूटन एंड दिस एरिया इज फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर एंड दिस एरिया इज सपोज टू मीटर स्क्वायर ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट शेयर स्ट्रेस देन टेन बाई फाइव यू शुड डू यू शुड नॉट डिवाइड बाई दिस टू आई होप इट्स क्लियर नाउ सो शेयर स्ट्रेस ओके देन वन स्ट्रेस इज बिकॉज ऑफ बेंडिंग एंड वन स्ट्रेस इज बिकॉज ऑफ टॉर्शन दैट्स ऑल ओनली दिस मच इज योर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल सो इन केस ऑफ बेंडिंग यू विल से बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन केस ऑफ टॉर्शन अगेन नाउ वेन यू विल डिस्कस टॉर्शन so because of torsion also you develop the stress now see whenever you are applying bending because of bending two types of stresses are possible again those stresses are either going to be uh, compressive or tensile or going to be shear remember tensile or compressive forces we give symbol sigma shear force sorry 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 tensile stress or compressive stress symbol is sigma Shear stress symbol is tau. Now, <clears throat> when you say bending stress, which is being produced because of bending, okay? Bending, bending means bending moment. What kind of bending moment? For example, if you have any uh, simply supported beam, on this beam you apply one kind of loading here, so beam will bend like this. So in the fibers of the beam, stresses will develop. so that stresses we say bending stresses in bending stress further we have nature either gap will increase or gap will decrease correct either length will increase or length will decrease i mean either shape will change or size will change so in bending both happens shape also changes size also changes so in bending you have sigma also and tau also but in case of torsion shape will not change so i'm sorry i'm sorry in case of torsion what will happen it is not about shape and size it is not about shape and size in every skin your stress will develop like this uh, for that i have to draw another diagram so i uh, have one more thing here also tau only tau will come sigma will not come only tau will come because of torsion you only produce shear stress now wh what kind of shear stress will come when you are uh, uh, creating torsion imagine a circular bar like this circular bar so it is fixed in the wall my diagram is i hope you are understanding now see suppose first set of molecules are sitting here just after that next set of molecules will be sitting so imagine these are next set of molecules just after that another set of molecules will be sitting imagine you are applying torque like this then this guy will go in this direction 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 so imagine i am targeting only this small portion so in this in actually in my diagram molecular level geometry is not very well defined i am targeting only this diagram so in that diagram top layer and next layer top layer molecules are also sliding in this direction so the bottom layer molecules they will bring them back come back come back come back so this come back come back will means resultant force in this direction okay so now see that's why this is shear phenomena guys that's why in torsion the stress which is being developed that is shear stress okay i hope i am hitting your heart so this is shear phenomena in bending you have uh, sigma also and tau also in case of torsion you only have tau because this is the physical field behind the logic okay so if you if now if anyone is asking how many types of stresses are possible so you can clearly see bending and torsion also creating stress but they are not creating stress directly only tensile compressive and shear they are direct stresses because they are directly acting on the surface here our force i mean our load and area is properly defined 
बट इन केस ऑफ बेंडिंग अवर लोड इज नॉट क्लियरली डिफाइंड इन केस ऑफ टॉर्शन लोड मीन्स फोर्स आई एम सींग फोर्स फोर्स इन केस ऑफ बेंडिंग बेंडिंग मोमेंट इज डिफाइंड फोर्स इज नॉट डिफाइंड इन केस ऑफ टॉर्शन टॉर्शन इज डिफाइंड टॉर्क इज डिफाइंड फोर्स इज नॉट डिफाइंड डायरेक्टली ओके दैट्स वाई दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज इन डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेसेस ओके सो वी हैव टोटल फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेसेस ओके सो हाउ विल यू काउंट दैम अगेन आई विल रिपीट वन फोर्स टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस then you will say compressive stress then shear stress these things are very clear they are direct direct stresses in that these two stresses are normal also why normal because they are perpendicular to the plane okay i mean the force which is acting that was perpendicular to the plane so these two stresses you give symbol sigma and this guy shear stress you give symbol tau shear stress okay so mainly now you go for bending and torsion so stress being developed because of bending is one type stress being developed because of torsion is another type okay so i should write capital t here okay so these are the indirect stresses i hope it's being very very clear so we will start our small oh, now see guys uh, we are actually into elasticity chapter and we are learning the basic background of stress and strain so i am trying to right now i am trying to teach you what is the physical feel of stress so i i have completed from my side what is the physical feel of stress now see guys whatever chapter you study whatever subject you study see one thing is teacher is teaching teacher is teaching the way teacher is feeling the teacher is feeling the concept in what sense you are getting the concept you are feeling the concept or not it is your own duty like the the right concept you are experiencing or not so now see it is impossible that every student will call me and tell me sir now two hours i will teach you about stress and you tell me my stress concept is clear or not it is impossible correct even i have not done that no no one will but that is the right thing everyone if imagine imagine if i have lifetime offer and everyone is calling me and say sir now two hours i will teach you and you let me know now where i am teaching wrong so for that we have exercise problems guys now after the class you have assignments just now i have shown you all the assignments so you have to solve all the assignments so uh, those assignments are already ready solutions are ready those assignments and solutions you will solve after that you will solve previous year gate questions after that only you will solve test series don't solve test series if you are not ready for any particular subject we have sufficient time you can also start test series in october month when i will official announce the date to start test series one test series uh, like when when someone is ready for the particular topic you guys can go and solve the test series there is no restriction from my side but after october you should not be behind syllabus after october you should be behind test series so right now what is your job step 1 cover the concept in detail make very good notes in live class i explain lot of things so i cannot write everything on the screen so whenever you are watching this video that time all the important logics you mention in in your notebook okay so step one clear make your concept clear second thing is solve numericals best part all the numericals whatever i have given they are having detailed solution video solution is also there okay so second part third part is previous year question paper it plays very important role so previous year question paper with solution is available okay so that part you to solve now most of you will do this much but every one of you will not do this much okay my experience now why will you not do this much because of your laziness your schedule is not being done you will not attend live classes you will feel uh, less motivated you will not be in contact with me every time after one week you will contact me after 10 days you will contact me and you will be giving same excuse every time so these things will happen and month will skip and you are going to be not qualified every day is very very important second day will not come okay whatever lecture was going today now every next day lecture will be more and more better and serious lecture okay about aircraft structure okay so point 1 types of stresses done now point 2 how to find all types of stresses so idea is very simple idea is very simple force divided by area which force which area very very clear so see here in elasticity we discuss basic forces which is normal force 
नॉर्मल फोर्स मीन्स आइदर ऑफ टेंसाइल और ऑफ कंप्रेशन और ऑफ शेयर दीज थ्री थिंग्स वी कवर अंडर चैप्टर इलास्टिसिटी रिमेनिंग टू स्ट्रेसेस लाइक बेंडिंग एंड टॉर्शन बिकॉज ऑफ बेंडिंग एंड टॉर्शन वी हैव सेपरेट चैप्टर्स नोन एज बेंडिंग एंड टॉर्शन सो मेनली वी हैव थ्री मेजर पोर्शन टू कवर इन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल नाउ अदर देन दैट वी हैव सम स्मॉल स्मॉल चैप्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्यूरी ऑफ फेल्योर ओके so these these chapters you will understand if these basics are very well clear right now you will be feeling okay you are understanding everything really you are understanding or not when you will solve the numericals you will get it okay so that's all done uh, now see here whenever you have stress now i'm going to explain strain what is called strain what is called strain and one more thing Uh, you guys can also access last year last year two zero two two batch videos. Okay, so for that limitation, you know whatever whoever has done sufficient fees, they can access them. Now see, now I'm going to explain strain. What is strain? Strain means see stress. You have understood internal force is being developed and it is creating strain. Sorry, stress. now strain is something what you can see in your real life like we have two types of uh, like uh, when when we get accident we have some emotional accident and we have some physical accident when we met accident by car those things emotional accident break up okay i am not going to ask whether you have break up or not but most of you may have gone through because most of the engineers like every day break up so actually when you are having break up in that people will not see that okay where is your uh, like where you have kept medicine and something something you, that physically there is no damage there is no physical damage but in case car accident bike accident we have physical damage so strain is that what you can see in your daily life the physical damage will happen to the uh, uh, to the member you can see the physical damage that is called strain and strain you can calculate i'll tell you what is the strain in more detail c the way we have types of forces or you say types of loading according to that we have types of stresses and according to that we have types of strains just an example c uh, suppose here you have any 2d member i'm drawing here you are applying tensile force tensile force same 2d member now again you have tensile force tensile force is f now same 2d member but this time i am applying force on the skin top skin like this same 2d member so in this in the first case what will happen uh, this length will increase okay so length is increasing so when you have applied the force that time only you have to know how much length is increase increased how much length is increased for example in the beginning it was 10 cm now suppose after the application of force your l1 was 10 cm your l2 became 10.1 cm so how much increment is there so change in length that is l2 minus l1 that is 0.1 correct this change in length can you see yes of course we can see but can you see stress stress we cannot see but strain we can see so there is something called strain gauge strain gauge is the topic of your university syllabus what is strain gauge we have three types of sockets and those sockets will give you three different strain gauges strains and those strains we will convert and we have the entire software and we 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 put all the values and we get strain everywhere in the beam or column something whatever wherever we are working okay so we have strain gauges so sometimes we keep their values 60 degree 60 degree sometimes we keep their values 120 120 or sometime depends on the special member mostly we use 60 and 120 in some types of in in some, uh, some uh, like some uh, uh, experiments we keep one is straight one like this and one like this okay ha uh, one very interesting question how many of you have seen strain gauges in your laboratory lockdown people uh, i am not asking if you have completed your journey yes there are strain gauges 
and sometimes you may see in them your professor is applying them on z section beam on c section beam and they are making some kind of experiment okay and remaining students they didn't see okay very good okay very good very good okay i was expecting that everyone will say sir i have seen the strain gauge in my laboratory anyway no problem so see here uh, right now uh, change in length is 0.1 to correct so this 0.1 to reading you will see in your computer directly with the help of strain gauge okay now this change in length if you divide with the original length that is 10 cm then you will be getting a dimensionless value that dimensionless value is only known as strain okay now this strain what we have got is because of tensile force so this is tensile strain okay tensile strain one more thing this strain is because of tensile force tensile stress that's why i'm saying tensile strain tensile strain symbol we use epsilon now it is linear or aerial or volumetric so this is linear why because this is linear data now sometimes in some special cases your when you apply force your entire area may change here i have no uh, focused only on the change in length sometimes entire area can change sometimes entire volume can change so in both the cases like a2 minus a1 by a1 this will give you again dimensionless quantity the top if you see numerator it is change in area divided by original area v2 minus v1 by v1 if you see it is change in volume divided by original volume correct i hope you are enjoying so this is uh, right now what you are seeing it is uh, aerial strain strain in area it is volumetric strain so see when i will i will go further in the chapter i will explain this in detail like where are you seeing change in area where are you seeing change in volume for example you know in hydrostatic Uh, concepts you we see like for example uh, you have water inside the water you put any balloon then from all the directions uh, your balloon will get shrink your volume will decrease okay so the, here you don't have length here you don't have area entire volume is decreasing correct so that time these kind of like uh, now i am going to discuss here uh, when you are applying compressive loading so in compressive loading you are developing a compressive stress now this compressive stress is giving you compressive strain again symbol is epsilon okay now when you are uh, applying the third diagram force like this third diagram in that case your new diagram will look like this after application of force so here this length and this length same this length and this length same i mean to say your size is not being changed then what is being changed shape is being changed so this is the only case that is case of shear stress where size does not change then what changes shape shape is being changed so here you got shear strain okay so keep in mind because l1 and l2 they are same so l2 minus l1 by l1 i cannot use because of course there is change in shape there is no change in size a2 minus a1 by a1 i cannot apply because it will be zero so these people will tell me there is no strain but still there is change in shape so i should have some other technique to find out that so earlier it was a rectangle when we applied force f then it became a parallelogram like this so what do we do we make one small angle here okay this angle we say as gamma and this angle itself we say shear strain so i hope it's very clear now this angle we can calculate because it is very small angle very very small angle so you remember one small mathematics trick if tan theta if theta tends to 0 it means very small then this total answer will become theta itself okay how it will be like this this is the part of mathematics in bridge course during limit i will teach you all these things okay so in shear strain uh this entire block i will recreate here one line like this and one line like this imagine uh 
right now i will consider this angle as theta and i am considering this angle as 90 degree but i will also consider some awkward assumptions i will consider this and this they both are equal okay actually we don't have a perfect triangle here but we are drawing a perfect triangle here so already we are con considering some error in the diagram but it's okay it's okay it will not make a big count big count so uh, if i say this this displacement is x and this displacement is d so i'll go for tan theta then tan theta is perpendicular by base so x by d okay now this x is very very small that's why this total answer is very very small after division so that's why we can write this total tan theta as theta so in my theory i am saying this theta as gamma so there are two ways to calculate shear strain okay now see we understood that there are stresses and there are strains and according to the application of the force we have several types because our geometry will change its shape and size according to the force applied so applied force one more thing i was about to explain i forgot to explain in the middle see here when you are applying the tensile force suppose you are applying 10 newton so uh, here also you will be having some layer here also having some layer so molecules are sitting here molecules are sitting here so they will uh, stop this thing and they will try to pull them each, towards each other like this so when they are pulling this so I, I i told you that here also they are setting up a force of 10 newton so my point is if i will increase the force suppose if i'm making this 100 newton will they be able to make 100 newton so your answer is sometimes yes sometimes no so why sometimes yes sometimes no it depends on the material you are using copper iron lead what what kind of material you are using okay so if they are able to set up 100 newton inside it means it's still your material will not fail suppose you are making 1000 newton external loading so will this same material will develop 1000 newton of course sometimes you will say yes sometimes you will say no it depends on the material correct material is able to sustain 100000 it means molecules can attract them with that much force okay so actually every material is having particular limit okay so that's why we have a stress strain curve like how much stress you can develop inside with how much deformation so that's why we get these kind of curves something something i will explain these curves don't worry so that we call as a stress strain curve okay so on that stress strain curve we have somewhere proportional limit where stress is proportional to strain so this particular topic we understand in very different way that we call as hooke's law in hooke's law uh, our stress is proportional to strain whatever stress we have developed that is proportional to strain so as you know we have several types of stresses currently i will focus on tensile stress compressive stress and shear stress so strains are also of different type tensile compressive and shear always remember tensile and compressive stresses symbol is sigma and for shear stress our symbol is tau in same way for compressive and tensile strains our symbol is epsilon and for shear strain our symbol is gamma okay now you see when you have tensile or compressive stresses or you say tensile or compressive strains then what happens your length changes either length will increase or length will decrease it means whatever is happening everything is happening on longitudinal axis this is known as longitudinal axis so that's why these two people are also known as longitudinal strains or stresses like these two people we call them longitudinal stresses or longitudinal strains okay so there is another name i hope you understood normal and direct and longitudinal these are the popular names okay now whatever longitudinal stresses are there they are sigma strains are there epsilon okay shear tau shear this so now see here length wise length wise if you are developing the stress then you have to use a very important parameter that parameter is known as young's modulus e okay young's modulus e area wise shear modulus g 
area wise means when you have shear concept then g and when you have volume concept then b or k bulk modulus okay g means shear modulus e means young's modulus b means bulk modulus and what are they they are known as elasticity constants modulus of elasticities okay so uh, e g and i mean e means uh, young's modulus b means c g means shear modulus b means bulk modulus okay this g is also known as modulus of rigidity this g and e is also known as longitudinal modulus okay so now my point is if you are targeting t t means tensile so tensile will disturb lengthwise so tensile strain will appear so tensile stress is related to tensile strain okay okay so to connect stress with strain we have hooke's law we have several types of stress and several types of strain so personal personal this will connect with this this will connect with this this will connect with this so for all the three we have three different hooke's laws but actually hooke's laws are uh, not different only these constants are different what my point is your stress is proportional to strain this is basic hooke's law when you remove the proportional sign then your stress is equal to a constant here and then strain now this constant is going to be either young's modulus or uh, your uh, shear modulus or modulus of rigidity and then bulk modulus b or k to whatever symbols here sometimes g sometimes c here only one okay ha huh. of course in gate exam they can give you y also because they can put any create they can create any type 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 of trap so that is students whatever practice you are you will see the chain variable you will lose the numerical okay so mentally be ready for this anyway uh, in test series i have given all random types of questions so you will not be having trouble so see here guys stress if you are talking about epsilon sorry sigma then you will be using e here and then strain will be epsilon so sigma is equal to e into epsilon if you are using tau here then you will be using g here and then you will be using gamma here simple very very simple okay now uh, when to use bulk modulus this particular part is very interesting and this part is the part of fluid mechanics mainly because uh, okay that part i will not take now in fluid mechanics i will go into detail there is something called bulk modulus there is something called compressibility del v by v those things will come into picture anyway in here also in a structure also i will complete this part but when i will go chapter wise properly that time i'll i'll be covering this bulk modulus section okay right now you understand the basic okay now i will ask one cross question so you tell me asit you tell me what is difference between uh, normal stress and compressive stress so difference between normal stress and tensile stress or normal stress and compressive stress okay so see first thing normal stress or sorry tensile stress or compressive stress both are types of normal stresses why because they both are normal to the plane normal to the cross section okay we have two types of sections one is axial section one is normal se uh, cross section axial section sometimes you can say longitudinal section or lateral section okay so answer for my for my question is normal stress normal stress if you talk we have two types tensile and compressive it means compressive stress is a type of normal stress okay in normal stress uh, if you talk about normal stress your length of the member can increase also and can decrease also compressive stress means length of the member is decreasing because forces are such that i mean the loading condition is such that length will decrease si uh, similar difference you have to say between normal stress and tensile stress i did not ask difference between tensile stress and compressive stress because this was very easy okay now my next question is what is difference between your uh, shear stress and tensile stress shear stress and tensile stress what is the difference i will ask to uh, shruti you tell me guys hmm next 
नेक्स्ट यस गो हेड गो हेड नो 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 गुड ट्राई वेरी गुड ट्राई वेरी गुड ट्राई वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग पॉइंट वी आर यू गाइज आर मिसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नो नॉट दैट वन सी गाइज यू विल नॉट बिलीव दैट दिस स्मॉल थिंग यू गाइज आर मिसिंग एक्चुअली देर इज साइज चेंज इन टेंजेंशियल स्ट्रेस एंड शेप चेंज इन शेयर स्ट्रेस देर इज नो साइज साइज चेंज इन शेयर स्ट्रेस दैट वॉज द की पॉइंट